Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Eva and I'm a millennial who is absolutely obsessed with makeup. In today's video, we're going to be talking about more blush. I feel like this channel just needs to be renamed the blush channel because I'm obsessed with blush and there are just so many new blush launches and I just can't resist picking them up to review for my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be reviewing and swatching, trying on the new Hourglass Unreal Liquid Blushes. I picked up three shades. We are also going to be talking about the shade expansion of one of my favorite blush formulas of all time, the MAC Glow Clay Blushes. We are going to compare the formula to the OG formula. I've been seeing rumblings online about the formula changing, so we will put them on the face, we will swatch them, we will talk about them. You will know by the end of this video if the new formula holds up to the tried and true OG Glow Play formula. We will be having several more blush videos coming up because there are so many releases. I still have the Makeup by Mario blushes on the way. I ordered those from his website because there was a coupon code, but they are shipping at a snail's pace, so who the heck knows when those will arrive. And then I also picked up the new Nabla blushes to review. I have so many. I have like a bin of blushes, so expect a lot of blushes from me over the next several weeks. Um, if you are not already subscribed, please do subscribe. It does really help my small growing channel. And then follow me on Instagram. I do a lot of other swatch videos on my feed and then a lot of random pop culture stuff in my Instagram stories. Also, I did want to note that everything will be timestamped down below. I know I'm a yapper. I love to yap. So if there are certain products that you're not interested in, that's fine. You can go ahead and just skip right on through. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the Hourglass blushes. Starting off with the new Unreal blush launch from Hourglass. These retail for $36. They come in seven shades. I picked up three of them. Um, the shade names, I am fairly certain, match the shades in the Hourglass Balm lineup. I'm forgetting the exact name, but like those bomb sticks, I absolutely love those. Um, so it's interesting that they kept with the naming convention. They come with uh, 0.34 ounces. Um, in product comparison, um, we will be doing um, comparison to one of my favorite liquid blushes, which is the Daniel Sandler Watercolor Liquid Cheek Colors. These just do not get enough hype. The only other person I really hear talking about these on YouTube is Khaki. And these come with 0.51 fluid ounces, but we'll get into that comparison later. Now for the claims. So the claims from Sephora, what are these? A liquid blush that visibly clumps with hydration and delivers unreal buildable color for natural finish that stays in place for up to 12 hours. Um, highlighted ingredients, uh, hyaluronic acid, upcycled white lupin seed extract. I don't know what it means by it's upcycled. Um, which claims to visibly firm skin for a smooth look. Now, packaging. I think the packaging is fine. It's a lot smaller than I was expecting. I feel like online the product looked much larger than it actually is in real life. Um, and the instructions, it says shake well before use. And then on the bottom, you can actually push in. This is kind of like a squishy packaging. And then there is a dropper. So let's go ahead and start off by applying one of these to the face. So I am first going to start with Moment. We are going to shake it up and then I'm going to go ahead and for this type of application or rather this type of blush because it's so liquidy, I'm first going to apply it to the back of my hand, tap my brush in the back of my hand, and then apply it. Otherwise, it will just be a drippy mess. So let's start off with, let's just do three dots. Okay, I really like how easily that came out of the packaging. I thought it was really, really easy to control the amount. So good design on the packaging. I haven't seen a liquid blush packaging like this, where instead of like, 
squeezing the sides, you're actually applying pressure from the bottom to get the product out. So this is the shade moment. Let's go ahead and actually um, apply all of them to the hand so we can do the shade comparisons now. Next up, we have the shade Whim, which is this really pretty pink. Let's do three drops as well. I think honestly, like one would potentially be fine. So here we have Whim. You'll see they're quite liquidy, so I don't wanna hold my hand out for too long. And then the last one I picked up is the shade Scene. Okay, so here we have Scene. So again, we have Moment, Whim, and Scene. They are quite liquidy, but they are not as liquidy as the Daniel Sandler ones. I'm gonna go ahead and just shake one of these up and just apply it so that way if you do have these or if you're curious about an alternative to these expensive $36 ones, um, you kind of have a comparison of, I guess it would be the viscosity, is that the right word? Okay, so we are gonna apply the Daniel Sandler one over here. We'll do three drops and it's just, it's it's drippier. You can see it's already spread. So the hourglass ones are like a little bit thicker than the Daniel Sandler ones, which I might be talking to a niche audience because some of you might have no idea what this brand even is. But anyways, oh, and the color, in case you were curious, this is Cherub. Now, when I say I need to clean my brushes, I need to clean my brushes. I don't have a lot of clean brushes to choose from, but I'm gonna go in with the Real Techniques filtered cheek brush. This is just like a great, great stippling brush, which works great for cream and liquid products. So we are going to start off with Moment. Let me zoom you in closer. Very pretty. Ooh, that is pigmented. Wow, okay. Went in with way too much product. If this is not your first time watching my videos, that tends to be a pattern with me and you would think I would have learned by now. You know, I think that brush is actually far too dense for a liquid that's that slippery. So instead I'm gonna transition over to my LYS like stippling brush. I like to use this quite often. Um, it's not super dense. The brussels are so soft and it does a great job of applying liquid and cream product. Okay. Beautiful. Very beautiful. It does have a really natural finish and that blended out really, really nicely. Okay. So this is, I would say like a good layer. Like this is probably what I would wear on an everyday basis, but I'm going to build this up a little bit more so that you can really see the colors. So I'm actually going to use that stippling brush again, just to add more of the pigment. Also, I've been really trying to improve my lighting. Let me know if it's starting to feel like the lighting is even on both sides of my face. I don't know why I've been having so much trouble with that, but please let me know in the comments if the lighting is more equal or if it's still a problem. Please be honest with me because I'm trying to up my game and improve the quality of my content. Okay, so we applied more with the stippling brush. Now let's blend, blend, blend. I think that is so, so pretty. I'm gonna zoom you in just a little closer. There we go. Okay, so this, this side of my face is moment. The blush is bringing me back to life. Whenever I'm like in a bad mood or I'm just like don't feel like filming because I get really overwhelmed, as soon as I apply blush to my face, I just get excited again. Okay, now let's go in with the shade Whim, which is this really, really pretty pink. I like that they didn't do like a straight up bubblegum pink. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like we've moved on from that um, as a society. Um, so this is like more of a 
overly pink, I would say, but still bright and fun for summer. I cleaned off my brush off camera. Just so that we're consistent in the application between the shades, I'm gonna do this kind of technique where I'm stippling it on first and then I will blend with the bigger brush. Okay, right off the bat, I'm going to say these shades are distinctly different, which is awesome. I do get kind of annoyed when I'm trying on two different blush products that are look so different in the bottle, but as soon as you apply them to the face, like you can barely tell a difference. I can really see the difference, especially when I look down in my mirror. So this is the shade Whim. So far, I'm feeling good. First impression, like my skin looks so healthy with these on. Like they really do plump the cheeks a little bit. They look really glowy. They look really juicy. They look really healthy, which I was not expecting. I thought that was just going to be like a bogus claim, but there is something magical in this formula because I, I, I look alive. I look alive in these blushes. Um, I'm going to go ahead and remove one of these from one of my cheeks so we can apply the final shade that I have. I went ahead and applied Scene off camera, and this one is really beautiful as well. On this side of my face, I have Scene, but then on this side of my face, I have Whim. So Whim is more on the coral side, whereas Seen is a little bit more neutral. That's the word I'm looking for. Um, I do they think they look similar. I still can see the difference, but I'm not sure if you need both of them. If I had to recommend one, I would say I'd probably recommend Scene because I do feel like this is a little bit better for year round, whereas Whim is a little bit brighter and feels more spring summer. Now, as far as first impression of this formula, I'm very impressed. Um, I want to also talk about the stickiness. That's a question I get a lot in my comments, which is totally valid, is like, does it leave your cheeks feeling sticky? So it does not. Um, the one on the right side has been drying for around five minutes, and it's not sticky. It's still like my skin feels like it kind of has skincare on it almost. Like it's feeling hydrated, but it's not sticky by any means. So first impression for these, really excited about them. I'm pleasantly surprised. I honestly like wasn't going to pick them up because I'm kind of getting blush fatigue, which is crazy for someone who absolutely loves blush. But I am glad I picked them up because I do think this is a really nice formula. Now longevity, I cannot speak to that yet. So um, I will do like an update video and I also plan on doing like a big blush ranking video where I can provide more updates on the longevity of these. But first impression, these are a thumbs up from me. I don't think you need to like rush out and buy these. Like they're really, really nice. Um, I still think I like the Huda Beauty ones more because of the ease of application. Like these are a little messy, right? Like you have to apply to your hand first and then you have to put them on your face. I also like the Huda Beauty shade range better. Um, the formula though is different. Like these aren't as liquidy as the hourglass ones. You know what? Let's actually just do, yeah. So as you see, I applied the Huda one here. Come on camera, focus. It's not like dripping anywhere. So this is a thicker consistency. Um, and therefore I feel like you can be a little bit more precise with your application because of the applicator. So if I had to recommend one, I would recommend these just from ease of use, but I'm excited to continue using these. And I would say if you've had your eye on them, first impression, I would say they're worth it, but I will have to return to you with a more extensive opinion once I've worn them on my face for longer. Let's talk MAC Glow Play blushes. So oh, this is so pathetic, but I like literally remember buying the Glow Play blushes when they first came out. I was living in Austin, Texas. I bought them at the Nordstrom at the Domain. Shout out to the Domain. Love the Domain. Miss it every day. 
Um, and I remember buying them and I remember my life nearly changing. That is how good this formula is. If you're not familiar, the MAC Glow Play Blushes are a putty-like blush. I mean, me just like pressing in isn't really going to do explain the texture, but oh my god, it's like pressing in to Play-Doh. If you remember in the 90s, Maybelline had a bouncy blush that came in a little compact, very, very, very similar um, formula, except for these are more pigmented. But if you had those bouncy blushes in, I think it was like early 2000s, because I remember I had one in middle school, um, you will remember this formula. Oh my gosh, it's so squishy and delightful and just so unique. So anyways, MAC released a bunch of new shades. I think I picked up all but maybe like one or two of the new shades because two of them were just like way too dark. And I was like, I got to stop buying makeup that I'm not going to wear beyond a YouTube review. I'm This is just a hobby for me. Once I, you know, make it big, I will be buying all the shades. But for now, I need to be a little bit more practical. The shades I did pick up. Let's talk about them. So I picked up the shade Plush Pepper, which is this like beautiful, I would say it's like a plum. I kind of think it's weird that they're calling it pepper, but maybe when I swatch it, it will be more of a like pepper shade. I also picked up this shade I'm so excited about. This is the shade Ginger Luck. Oh, I love a tawny brown nude blush talk about it all the time. Absolutely love it. Um, One of them arrived completely broken, so I already texted Ulta. If you didn't know this, on their app, you can press a button and you can actually have a text conversation with a customer service agent. And it's just delightful, to be honest. Like, it's a great feature. Um, And so they are going to be shipping me a replacement, but they're making me send the old one back. I'm like, why? It's broken. It's unusable. Why? Um, But this one is Pinch of Marrakesh. I can't even really show it to you. It arrived completely detached from like the base. So that's really annoying. What I am going to do, um, because I do still want to talk about the shade, is I will like grab the shade from this little piece of plastic here so we can still apply it. And then the last shade I picked up um, is one that I already have, but mine is definitely expired because it is starting to smell really weird. Um, I don't really like, I honestly, I don't follow expiration dates for makeup, um, but if they start smelling weird or the formula has changed, I move on from it. Um, but it will be kind of nice because we will be able to compare an exact shade from the new formula to the old formula. Um, and we'll get into the formula differences in a little bit. To be honest, I don't even know them yet. Um, okay, so the last one I picked up is the one I already have. This is one of my favorite shades. It is called Totally Synced, and it is a beautiful, like, pinky lilac, and I love, I love a lilac blush. Let's talk about what the difference is. I, I don't know. I don't have the original packaging, but, like, let me look up what's going on with the new MAC launch. I'm going to go on the MAC website. Uh, MAC makeup. We're going to do a little investigating together. Oh, okay. 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 So now they're doing what I predict is going to be the biggest makeup trend in 2025 is skincare infused makeup because we already have every possible type of makeup. So now they're going to have to like throw some other ingredients in it to make us all rebuy the same stuff over and over again. And that is what they did here. So they're saying now with skin conditioning ingredients includes jojoba and grapeseed oils along with vitamin E for comfortable and oh so smooth application. Okay, so now it has skincare ingredients. I don't know yet how I feel about the skincare infused makeup. I think it's kind of just an excuse for brands to relaunch the same stuff and charge you more money for less product. Um, now, I don't remember how much these were a few years ago when these launched, but they do still contain 0.25 ounces. So at least they didn't get us with shrinkflation or anything like that. I removed the liquid blushes from my face, reapplied my beloved Danessa Myrick's Yummy Skin, which is the best complexion product ever invented on this planet. 
I will say that till my last dying breath, the best, the best, the best. Let's start with the darker shades. I don't know why. I just want to start with the darker shades. So the first one is Pinch of Marrakesh. Now I can't do the up close with it open because it is broken and it will fall everywhere. But let me read the shade description. Um, I also want to mention I did pick these up at Ulta. Um, depending on when you're watching this, if you are a Diamond member, they do have a 20% off um, code right now. So I'd recommend picking these up with the code if you're interested. I will have them linked down below. But also just like buy at Ulta, guys, their points and reward system are just so much better. Okay. Okay. So Pinch of Marrakesh is described as an intense orange brown. I have the Marrakesh lipstick. It's a staple. It is an absolute staple. Okay. Let's see how I'm going to do this. I mean, I'm just going to, I'm going to swatch the part that's still in the pan. Okay. So here we have, here we have the finger swatch. Ooh, that is pigmented. I'm going to do a palm swatch. I've been into the palm swatches lately. Okay. Beautiful. Um, this also is very pigmented, so I'm going to need to be a little careful when applying it. I'm going to go in with the Real Techniques Stippling Brush for this formula. This is like the perfect brush for this type of formula. You also can go in with your fingers with this formula as well. It's pretty flexible in that regard. Oh, okay. You know what? It was looking good. And then I just, I always do this. I always apply too close to the sun. I'll have like the perfect amount on and then I'll just do one application too many. Okay. This is not the best application job, but you can see the shade on my face. This is actually very wearable. I did get a little scared when I opened it and read the description as an intense orange brown, but this actually looks really nice on fair skin. And on deeper skin, I think you could probably really build it up. Okay, so this is the shade Pinch of Marrakesh. Taking a moment to look in my mirror down here, I would say it's like a nice, kind of like a little sunburnt um, color. I'm going to just further blend it out with my fingers, tap it out. Okay, so far, this is the same great formula I remember. I know people were squawking about the new formula, but so far, I'm, I'm not noticing a difference yet. So that is great, great news. Next up, let's do Plush Pepper. For this one, I don't know, let's get crazy and we're going to apply it with our fingers and see how that works. Um, but first, we're going to do swatches. So here is Plush Pepper. Ooh, she is bright and beautiful. Look at that. And you know what? Because we have her right here. Let's do a pinch of Marrakesh right next to it so we can just get a nice comparison of the two of those. Okay, so this is a pinch of Marrakesh. Oh, very, very different. Very, very different. Oh, pinch of Marrakesh is going to be so, so perfect in the fall. Um, I'm so excited because I went to Home Goods earlier and they already have the Halloween stuff out. I know that enrages some people, but nothing makes me happier than the fall. Like nothing on the planet. Nothing makes me happier than cheesy Halloween decor already showing up in the store in July. It makes me happy. And so I'm very excited. I'm already starting to think about fall makeup and the, the Sephora sale and all the holiday releases for makeup that come out in September now. Anyways, I'm getting jazzed. Okay. For plush pepper, let's apply with the finger and see how that goes. Okay, I, I'm, no, that looks, that's, no, that's not a great way to actually apply it. So let me go in. My stipple brush. I carried it up too far, but what's new? What's new? So this is the shade plush pepper. And it is much 
pinkier than I thought it was going to be. Much, much pinkier. So you can compare them on the face. Marrakesh, Pinch of Marrakesh, Plush Pepper. I'm going to apply the next two shades off camera to save us a little time. We are back with two more shades on my face. On this side of my face, I have the shade Ginger Luck. This one is a very, very beautiful, neutral, like tawny brown shade. Let's go ahead and do the finger and hand swatches. Super, super beautiful. I love, love, love shades like this. And then on this side of my face, I have one of the older shades, the one that I repurchased called Totally Synced. And this is just a beautiful pinky lavender. Let's do a hand swatch. Okay. It's a little hard to see this one with the way I have my camera light balanced. So I do apologize for that, but you can see it here on my face. Now, what I wanna do is I want to remove Ginger Luck and I wanna apply my Stinky Expired um, MAC blush of Totally Synced to make sure like the application formula is the same. I mean, we know the formula is a little bit different, but to make sure like I'm getting the same effect, granted it is expired, so it may perform worse for the wear, but we will see. Okay, so this is my old kind of stinky, totally synced on the right, and then the new one here. Okay, these are not the same color, you guys. These are absolutely not, and it's not because it's old. Like that wouldn't cause the color to suddenly become a completely different shade. Okay, well, that is disappointing because now I feel like I can't get rid of the stinky one because it is a different shade and I love this shade. It's definitely more lilac. So maybe I'll just put up with the fact that it's expired, which I know is gross, you guys. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and swatch them. So here is the finger swatch for the old Totally Synced. And let's do the new totally synced right next to it okay so here are the two totally synced shades so middle finger oops middle finger here is new this finger here old let's swatch them on the hand though and see Ugh, they're like not it's gonna be hard to show up on the camera. Let me like back up a little bit. I hope it's picking up, but these are not the same shade whatsoever. They are not remotely the same shade at all. So now I'm really curious, like are the old shades even gonna be the same as the new ones? Like, I don't even know if it makes sense for me to do arm swatches of all the shades because with the new formula, I don't trust the shades. So maybe we won't do that because I don't think you're going to be able to get the same shades that you would in the old formula in the new formula, which is super annoying. Oh, that's really irritating. Okay. Anyways, let's go ahead though and apply the old Totally Sync to the Face to speak to the formula. Okay, applying totally the same as all the other shades. Okay, I am really glad that I I kept this to do this experiment because I'm not only bummed because I love this lilac shade, but we've kind of been conned in the sense that the re-release shades are not the same shades, at least not for this one. So on this one, I have the old shade of Totally Synced, which is definitely a lilac. And then on this side of my face, I have the new version of Totally Synced, which is a pinky lilac. They're definitely in the same family, but 
they are not the same blush. Let me just do a hand swatch lineup of the new shades once again, or the new shades that I picked up, so you can see them all lined up. Okay, so here we have the new shade swatched. So we have totally synced here. It's a little hard to see because it's close to my skin tone, but this is Ginger Luck. Here we have Plush Pepper. And then here we have Pinch of Marrakesh. So all four of the shades that I picked up are very different. Now for my conclusion on the formula. I mean, upon application, I did not notice a difference in the formula. These were still really creamy, super, super pigmented, still the fun, bouncy formula. I did see some like discourse online about people who like swatched them in Nordstrom. They were saying they felt dry. Keep in mind that Nordstrom keeps the compacts open. Like they only close them at night when they're cleaning up. So that's going to dry down the product because it is a like creamy product. So I just want to call that out. I get really annoyed when Nordstrom and Sephora for like certain products that dry out when they keep the lid off. Cause I'm like, this is going to make people think the product's terrible. Um, but my initial impression of the new formula is that it is identical. I'm not noticing a difference. Now I can't speak to performance because this is my first time trying the new formula, but if I do notice a difference, I will leave a comment down below and then I will be doing a massive blush roundup at this rate probably next month because there's so many more blushes to test. Um, and in that roundup, I will talk about the formula and see if I notice any differences. Okay, I'm going to stop yapping and going on and on and on, but thank you so much for being here. I hope this was helpful. Um, I hope it helped you decide if you want to pick up the new, or I guess the relaunch MAC blushes, and then the Hourglass blushes. If you do decide to shop those, if my review did help encourage you, then I would love if you shopped through my affiliate links down below. Another way to support my channel is to thumbs up this video, subscribe, and then follow me on Instagram. Thanks so much, and I will catch you in my next video, which will 99% sure be another blush video.